internet so today i thought it would be fun to do a whole video about surviving the canadian winter and it's kind of a patriotic kind of a little bit of a patriotic video because it will feature some pieces that i consider to be kind of quintessentially canadian it will also feature a little recipe um that i really like at the end and this video is in partnership with softmock it's not a sponsored video who i worked with last year on a fashion video and you guys really liked it um they are canadian shoe retailer and i heard from you guys that you really like the giveaway that I did with them last year so we're doing it again this year so that you can receive two more pairs of shoes so I really like doing giveaways especially where there's like more than one prize because your odds of getting something at that point are actually really pretty good all you need to do to enter this video is unfortunately you do need to live in Canada so this is mostly for my Canadian subscribers in terms of the giveaway you need to be okay with giving me your address so make sure that um, if you enter your comment down below there's some way that I can contact you. Make sure that you check on um, your status in your YouTube settings so that I can send you an email if you win. Um, and the giveaway is random, but please make sure that you enter a comment down below. And for fun, why don't you let me know what your favorite winter drink is? So for example, mine would be hot chocolate. And yes, that is a hint as to what is to come in this video. Um, so the giveaway prize is going to be two pairs of moccasins that are similar to these, and you'll actually have some say in terms of which ones you get. Um, and you'll be in contact with Softmock um, if you do win. So it'll be really nicely organized, which is great and how I want to kind of make things happen on my channel. So I can't wait to show you what these look like when they're paired with an outfit. Um, this video will include three different outfits for the Canadian winter or cold seasons. And I'm pretty much gonna be sweltering because right now it's actually pretty warm in Vancouver, but fashion works early. So you have to always be prepared to be stylish, whatever the seasons may bring. And I hope that this video brings you a little bit of inspiration in terms of doing that. Thank you so much for watching and let's get right into my three seasonal outfits for the freezing cold winter. Looking professional and chic in the slush or snow can be a little bit of a challenge, but the trick is ultimately just to have a few smart layers. So here I'm wearing my Cassie boots from Softmock, paired with some black tights and a fur trimmed coat from Snowflakes, which is a local boutique. And with that, I paired my DVF dress underneath, which has gorgeous lace embroidery and my Celine mini luggage in the color Souris, which means mouse in French. It's a taupey pretty color, which is great for the winter. And you can see the Cassie boots are really great because they keep your feet from looking overly huge and snowman-like, and they have a little bit of faux fur trim, and they're also entirely waterproof, so they're really great um, for the winter months. And once you get to your office, all you have to do is slip into some chic shoes. Mine are from Zara. You've already got your chic black tights on and you just remove your outer layer and you're good to go for a chic day at the office. Growing up in Montreal definitely taught me a thing or two about keeping warm, and so for casual weekends, it's actually really useful to make sure that your feet and upper body and head are really warm and cozy, and then you can get away with some thinner layers underneath so that you're not dying of heat when you go to your casual brunch or out shopping or running your errands. So here I have a nice cozy hood on. This jacket is actually also from Snowflakes. I really like their sales. And then underneath that, I have a thin cashmere layer from Kit and Ace, which has a nice stripy sailor look to it, always a classic. I have my new AG jeans, which are super soft and comfortable. And then to keep my feet warm and cozy for this outfit, I'm wearing my new Norway black shearling booties from Softmock as well. And I love these because they're so convertible. You can flip out the top to expose the shearling or zip them up and have a bit more of a dressy look as well. And it also makes them super easy to take on or off, which is great once you get to someone's house or get home, you don't have to hop around or get help to take your boots off. Finally, for this outfit, it's all about lounging at home. So here I am coming back from the office and greeted by a hungry fufu. I'm taking off my Via Spiga leopard pumps and putting on my little soft mock slippers. So I'm super excited to show these to you since these are very similar to the giveaway prizes that you both will be receiving. I will link all five choices down below so you can check them out. They're all Canadian made 
and fleece lined and so comfy they are like stepping onto a cloud at home while you relax which is just the perfect way to unwind from a long day at the office so i'm also going to be showing you how to make belgian hot chocolate as a belgian it is absolutely essential to me to have a warm beverage when i've just had a long day and i want something sweet before i get around to making dinner and this recipe is so delicious it's so much better than powdered hot chocolate if you've never made homemade proper hot chocolate then you need to try this so I am using the following ingredients we have some cocoa milk and cream maple syrup pure dark chocolate it's 85% because I like it really chocolatey a pinch of salt and a little bit of pumpkin pie spice to spice up your hot chocolate you don't need very much equipment at all you just need a stove a small saucepan measuring cup and a whisk to get out any lumps although if you have strong arms you can always make do with a spoon so here I am heating up my milk and cream and all the amounts will be listed down below and I'm adding two heaping tablespoons of good quality cocoa and at first it seems like it will never combine because the milk kind of repels the cocoa but as it warms up and you kind of use some brute force to whisk it in it will completely combine and you'll be left with a delicious creamy hot chocolate um, it has a combination of cocoa and actual chocolate because I find that gives the best flavor so you just whisk it in and it'll take a couple of minutes to come up to temperature over medium to low heat and then I showed you the tea towel at the beginning because you will inevitably make a little bit of a mess, or at least I do. So while you wait for the mixture to heat up, you're going to add a good pinch of good quality sea salt. So I'm using Malden. Um, I guess I'm kind of loyal that way, having studied in England. It's kind of English people's favorite salt, apparently. And then I'm adding a good shake of pumpkin pie spice. And if you can't find that in Canada, it's kind of hard to find in little um, pre-packaged little <laughs> spice jars. So it's actually just cinnamon, allspice, and nutmeg usually. And then to the mixture, I'm going to add two tablespoons of good quality maple syrup, which is really easy to find here in Canada. You could also use agave or sugar or any sweetener of your preference. At this point, you can kind of almost see the steam rising up, which is a perfect point to remove it from the heat and enjoy it because you don't want to let it boil too much. Now it's time to serve up my hot chocolate and put up my feet and relax. So with my soft mock moccasins, I'm still wearing my kind of business casual outfit from the day. So that's some Kitten Ace trousers, which are super comfy. It's the Mulberry style. And with that, I'm wearing a rag and bone, merino wool, really gorgeous Bordeaux colored sweater and a Burberry scarf. Finally, we have a little outtake joined by Fufu who sees his likeness on my favorite mug. And that's it for this video, so don't forget to enter a comment below to enter this fabulous 5 moccasin giveaway. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in my next video.